And I, another thing, too, and I don't know if this is a question, but, but more of a comment, some of these, particularly when we're looking at um, separating out the, particularly at Beach, the neighborhood portion and the emergent mm -hmm. portion, um, looks like most of the scenarios it would be a combination of that, you know, that neighborhood school at another location or, or a combination of locations, but it would require some, uh, some growth in the immersion program that would fill a school. So uh, this is where, you know, the devil is in the details a little bit. How do we, how do we know we, we're going to be seeing some growth in that immersion? How do we make sure we accomplish that growth so we don't see a few years down the road an immersion program that was once successful but was never really able to ramp up? And that will be the, that will be the challenge. In, well, not a challenge. I think that we have enough parents in the neighborhood that are interested in the immersion program that we can start, for example, three kinders, and just continue that pattern. Uh, right now, they have two in the mm -hmm. in the early grades. So I do not think it will be very difficult to grow the program. And then the potential for that to take away from other schools and then that whole unintended consequence of more kids going to one school and a few in the other. I mean, I don't know if you've modeled that at all with if, if Beach Spanish immersion were standalone and grew. Uh, There's just one of five yeah. million factors to consider yeah. here. But. Um, I can tell you that we've modeled, um, um, we didn't model the on paper. We did some modeling. We said with a doubled size neighborhood, um, half of that new class of 26 or 28 kids would come from the neighborhood, so that's 14. Does that mean the neighborhood program would still be big enough? Probably. Mm -hmm. Those other 14 are likely to come from six to 10 other students, so the impact is maybe one to two other students per school mm -hmm. per year. So it's not a big hit. What we would most want to see with this expansion, because it, it's in line with what you've heard from GM Garcia and mm -hmm. Von Trong, is um, making sure that it's our um, ESL students who have you know high access right. to that. So it's really identifying, the, and those students are pretty broadly dispersed. Right. So 